So I was about to leave to bring take you know, take the beast for a walk, right? Um right. And uh but I realized that I wanted I always time everything that I do, any kind of exercise. So you know, when we walk home, when I do my power walk I know how long it is, so I don't I just write four and a half mile power walk. I don't um, time it. But when we walk home, we time it. So I start to walk. There's nothing around. I open, I turn my back to, to go down, you know, I'm go, going down the steps, turn my back just to open the door and look at the time on the TV, right, on the TV box. So I didn't even step inside the house. I turn around and all of a sudden, <laughs> because that cat, it hasn't been eaten by any wild animals, hasn't been hit by a car. It's actually a miracle. That cat I told you about before is now, it lives way, way down. It's now at our house. And normally it's so friendly. Every time we walk, it comes up, and Omar doesn't understand about cats. You know, cats and dogs are not normally friends. This cat's not afraid of dogs. Comes up to Omar. But that's the first time it ever hissed, and the reason it hissed is because it startled, it startled me and Omar, so Omar got all upset, and then it hissed. It hissed because we didn't know it was behind us. We turn around and almost trip over it, literally, because it's so close, so that was weird. Um, I've never seen it down this far. It's ridiculous. It, but it's still alive. The cat's still alive. Um, so yesterday, when we went walking, we met a neighbor. Her dog was a rescue dog, and she had to recently put the dog to sleep, 16 years old. Um, it was some kind of shepherd mix or whatever. Today I ran into a different neighbor whose dog is a rescue that um, he got like in 2002, and they think at that time the dog was like one and a half to two years old. So that was 14 years ago. I said, wow, so your dog's like 15, 16 years old, sprightly. It's like a mixture of, it's a, it's a mixture, you know, it's a, it's a mixture of like a shepherd, cattle dog, and <clears throat> something else. They don't know. She said something else, I don't remember. But, um, and I... I said the same thing to him. I said, well, you know, some dogs, that I said to her, because her dog living to be 16 is really good. It's good for a dog. In dog years, that's fantastic. I said, I'll be happy for him to live that long. I'll be thrilled to death. And to him, I said, <clears throat> yeah, just like people, some dogs, some animals have good genes and live a long time. Because 16 years old is old for a dog, period. And this dog, I said, does the dog have any health problems? He's like, nope, nothing. 16 years old, approximately. Like 15 and a half to 16, that's old for a dog. I know that it is. Even for a small dog. And then my, my dog's 8 years old. And I'm telling my friend in the shelter that Omar's 8, you know, and we're going to be 8. And she's like, wow, that's old for a pug. Don't say that. Jesus. I'm just going to defy the odds. Defy the odds? Going to break the world's record? The oldest pug? On record? I don't know what the oldest pug on record is. He was 23 years old. If you go on Pug Spot or those those sites like Pug Spot, people will say, "Yep, my pug lived to be 21." And I know a pug that lived to be this old, and they had to wheel him around in a basket. He was deaf and blind, but he was still. Funny, huh? One day I go for a walk, meet a neighbor, and she had to just put her dog to sleep. A lot of people, she just said it was the dog's time because it didn't have like cancer or something, but it wasn't, it couldn't really walk good. A lot of people will, will keep their dogs even if they can't walk, they'll, they'll attach them to a wagon or something. I've seen that in movies and stuff. Or wheel them around in a wagon. I saw that when my mom and I did that in 
SPCA want marriage, you know. You see, you know, drive sick, you can't tell while I'm around. Anna's with while I'm around in wagons. In any case, she chose to put her dog to sleep. She decided that it was time. And a lot of times, owners keep the dog, keep their pets alive when it would be better off, you know, for the pet to be put to sleep. It doesn't have quality life anymore and whatnot. Even if it's not, doesn't technically have to be put to sleep, you know, is it like dying or has a horrible disease or, you know, stuff like that. But and then the very next day, I meet a similar type dog, because I know I met the other woman's dog. I met a woman's dog over here. But a similar type dog, and this dog is 15, 16 years old and sprightly and no health problems and pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I'm going on my power walk again. I just wanted to tell you guys that. I wanted to tell you about the cat. That fucking cat. It, it, like I said, though, kudos to the cat. Not getting eaten by wild animals and not getting hit by a car. Because those are the two things that could make that cat no longer exist. But now the cat's roaming even more. Usually during the walk, I'd see the cat a couple houses down from where I know he lives. And now he's way down where we live. Oh, he's exploring. Exploring might get him, you know, might cause his demise, his early demise. He's just a young, a young cat, kitten. He's not that old. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? But I have to go. Yes, Mama has to leave. Mama doesn't like to bump on your eye. Mama doesn't like the bump on your eye. The bump on your eye. I took over too many walks today because the first time he did not go poo poo. The second time he did. Eat. It's not time for you to eat. You know, in hours. No, look. Look. What's that? way to get him to look, but how is there, you know? Look! <gasps> What's that over there? Oh! What is it? What is it? What is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs>